Arsenal Fan TV down here at the Emirates with Claude on deadline day. You know what, I think, when I think about it, I think nearly every deadline day I've always been down there with you. Um, so it's good to be down there with everyone, you again. For everyone it's deadline day, for our Arsenal fans it's Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> so I can, right. uh, I can already see that you're, you're not enthusiastic about today. I mean, no, what's gone wrong? No, what's gone wrong? In the fucking summer, right? In the summer we were, it was touted to the media that we were, he was in France trying to get this Mbappé deal just before the season tickets were on sale. They was going to get this Mbappé deal. He was trying his hardest. He, he thought he could rescue, you know. Suddenly in May, we've got no fucking money. Now, where does that come from? And why in May wasn't, uh, why wasn't in May, we weren't told that there's no money for sale unless we sell players and all that. Why wasn't we told all this shit? Why fucking two days before the fucking deadline, we're suddenly told there's no fucking money? You know? I don't fucking I don't understand you. it. You're not happy. I'm, I'm fuming. I'm still fuming about fucking Sunday when I think, and I think, that this manager deliberately lost the fucking game on Sunday. Come on. No, Lord. no, I'm saying it. I'm telling you. Why put two players out that are leaving this fucking club? Right? To show people, to show people that they don't care for the club, let's, let's expose it. At uh, the cost of fucking three points. Yeah, that's what I feel at the moment. That's why I feel I'm angry. I'm angry with the manager. I'm angry with the, with the board. I want the whole fucking lot out. I want the whole lot now out. I don't want, I'm sorry, he's, he's done a lot of good for this fucking club, but now it's come to an end. It's time we see something, say something, yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting all this thing on, on Twitter. You should support the manager. I support the fucking club. I don't support the manager anymore. I'm sorry. I don't support the manager. I support the manager before because he was doing the right thing. But now this is sabotage as far as I'm concerned. He sabotaged on Saturday. This was an important game. Right, to win three points against our rivals, our rivals, the supposed rivals. Now we, now our rivals are West Brom, by the way. Yeah, right. This is what this is what it's come. That's what's come, that's what it's come to, mate. This I mean, is what, what, what have you what have you made of the, this this whole thing, this whole thing with Oxley Chamberlain? Of course, now, like you said, plays in the game and now unveiled as a Liverpool player. I mean, good luck to him. Is, he's going yeah. to mate, he's going to a coach that will get the best out of him. Someone that will use him properly. Someone that will go central midfield. Someone that doesn't discard him for granite fucking Xhaka and Ramsey. You know what I'm saying? Someone that will give him a go in central midfield. How many, times, how many games did he have in central midfield to prove himself? You know? And all this, his injury record and all this, uh, someone put up today uh, about all these uh, faults in the game. Well, why don't they, the same people show the faults as Granite Xhaka over the last few games? You know, I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick. This guy's injury, everyone's going about the injury record. Why do you think we've got an injury record? He's got that injury record. It's no coincidence. It's the training regime here. With all these fucking injuries. No one's ever investigated for years that we get all these fucking injuries. And we still keep players, giving them contracts, even though they're crocked and for giving, extend their contracts, extend their contracts. Finally, finally. And, then, um, and not only that, everyone says the, the, the players are behind the manager. And I'm sick of hearing these fucking apologies all the time. We are sorry to the fans. We are sorry. It's not fucking good enough. You were sorry against Palace, but you still fucking repeat it again. I'm sick of it, Rob. I'm fucking sick of it. It's time to fucking go. The fucking lot of them.